Are you about to stay in here? You can't stay in here. Why can't I? Cause. Can I just be a voice in the background? Good Vibe Nation. It's been a long time, baby. But I'm back without my other half. Don't I'm try. right here. They don't care because they can't see you. Life update. The whole entire Kirk house was sick last week. Took the girls to the fern bank. You know kids are like petri dishes, walking living bacteria. Fern bank's air condition was obviously not operational. It was hot as hell in there with just germs festering everywhere. Come home two days later. Brave is sick. Then Wish gets sick. Then mommy and daddy get sick. And the whole last week we were just germs. But, 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 the COVID tests were negative. So it was just a cold. Do those still exist? Does the flu still exist? Or is every time you get sick, is it just COVID? So y'all, today, I have decided that the world lacks substance. I didn't come up with this on my own. The world is full of stupid people. You can disagree with this. You can agree with this. I really don't care. People like stupid stuff. They like content that has no substance. They like stupid stuff, which leads me to believe that when stupid things get lots of views that there are lots of stupid people in the world. I think there's a correlation. Do y'all agree? Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. And maybe that will be something that we'll talk about at a later day but anyway I want to start having discussions of substance things that make you use your brain generate good conversation good conversational topics that we can have a long good conversation about you said conversation 27 times because that's what this is conversations so today we're going to talk about the effects is it the effect or the effects it can be multiple. Okay, so the effects of social media, the effect social media has on your mind, the effect social media has on your relationship, social media. Do you think that when you're in a relationship that social media can ruin a relationship? Do you think you live your life according to social media? You see chicks on social media, you see dudes on social media, and you're like, damn, they live the best life. Does that affect you? So let's jump into it. This whole social media situation situation and how it affects relationships. I had a homie and I told him for years, bro, delete your social media because it causes conflict between you and your woman. She sees you on social media. You're liking all these pictures of these girls. One thing I will put out there early on is I can like a picture of Rihanna because I'm never going to smash Rihanna because Rihanna don't care about me. She's a billionaire. But if you like Brianna's picture and Brianna live right around the corner, you can smash Brianna. Oh, we got the, the wife chiming in for it. What's your question? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, excuse me. It doesn't necessarily have to be Rihanna or a famous person who we know is unattainable. It could be those Instagram models or the girls on TikTok who we all know are only on there shaking their and twerking and you hear the music and you know what it is that he's looking at. If he's liking that, that's inappropriate too. I'm a firm believer in not having social media in my relationship. It's it's something that Aries and I have never ever had a problem with. I would never ever allow social media to come between me and someone who I'm with. Now that just the Kirks are on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, I look at those platforms to see what people are doing so that that's I can the try to you looking? stop so that I can try to win with my family. But in me looking on those platforms for that, I see booties, I see boobies, I see women dancing in bathing suits and things of that nature. And as a man, I start to get caught up in that and I start to look at that. I never like, I don't like any of of those pictures but what when I, is the difference they, you're, you're right. still looking at it you're still engaging with it you're still stopping in your thread to take time like you're looking at it that and that is true that's kind of disrespectful and what i do say is i feel like it opens up the door to you thinking outside of what you already have and people might that might be a little bit deep for people because people will be like there's no problem with looking there's no problem with doing this and there's no problem with doing that but I would have to disagree because I feel like that could lead to something else if I'm so interested in these women because y'all know it's the life in the day of the BBL and the fake booby and my wifey ain't built like that you know what I'm saying so like I might they ain't built like that either they bought it <laughs> they are not built like that either but i'm saying though you ain't purchase a bbl and you don't have fake 
silicone boobies. So I could look at that and then in my mind, I start to become unsatisfied with what you are and what you have. Like, damn, she's slim. She ain't got all this booty. She ain't got all these boobies. And then I start to feel like I want that with what I'm seeing. So then premeditatively, I begin to engage actively on seeking things that are not what my wife is offering. Do y'all understand? Did, did I make that understandable, attainable for y'all? Was that tangible? Can you touch that and grasp it? I I think it even works for women. You know, women can't stop what a man is going to do as far as a man DMing them. But I do think some women in relationships post inappropriate pictures, doing certain things that are unmerited that they shouldn't do when they're in a relationship that can lead to outside interference, outward interference, like a man seeing something and a woman is placing herself in a in a situation to where it makes it seem like she might be single. Because first First of all, if you have a man, why are you twerking on Instagram when you got a man? You should be twerking for your man. Twerk on camera for your man. Make a tape with your man. Don't make a video and put it out on Instagram for the world to see. Then you got thousands of dudes coming in and they're messaging you. That just opens up the door. You never know. Some dude who got more money than your dude might come in and hit you and you like, dang, this dude could fly me out here. My man can't do that. So now you're like one foot closer to bringing infidelity into your situation because of something that you created. I think in the world that we live in today, it's hard to be monogamous. The world doesn't promote monogamy. The world promotes infidelity and having a side piece, doing all these extra things. So I think the least of amount of extra things that you put into your relationship, the more successful your relationship will be. If you avoid having a social media and liking all these chicks pictures and drooling over these girls, which will lead you into the strip club and possibly lead you onto Atlanta Backpage. Do y'all know what Backpage is? And then guys, not only for the relationship piece, I think a lot of people use social media for like validation, moral standards. People go on TikTok to find out about sex, which I think is just ridiculous. Talk to your parents. Don't go to TikTok to find out about sex or anything. I mean, you could go on there and get a recipe because people are putting good recipes on there, but I digress. Too many times people look to social media for validation. You see how people are living. You want to live the life of these people on there. But what y'all don't realize is like, and I heard this from Stephen Ferdy. Think about a picture. You can crop out a picture. So you might see a person over here who looks like, He's living, or she's living La Vida Loca, right? And this is all you see, is this little part right here. But what about the rest of the picture that's over here that you can't see? The person's life could be in shambles. You never know what is going on behind the scenes of the social media. It's literally just a clip that you see and you're comparing your life to that. Or you're saying, oh my God, they have the best life. You're setting your standard to that. You wanna live your life according to this one shot that is cropped. It's not even the full entire image. Don't aspire to social media. It's not worth it. I just really don't feel like it's worth it. The older that I'm getting, the more and more I've just been concerned about living my life according to a Christian standard that is appeasing to God and to Jesus Christ, right? And I'm not trying to get too heavy for y'all, but I think too many times we get lost in this worldly stuff that just really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, none of this stuff matters. We like literally every single person is gonna die. Like none of us make it out of this life alive. Everybody has a day where we gonna check out. It's really important what you do in your time while you're here. A lot of young people, it doesn't really register to them. I mean, it didn't register to me. I'm older. So now it's like all making sense. I feel like the pandemic, losing my dad, seeing people die. It's just like, what in life is important to you? What has value? What brings value to you? What value do you add to people? I think those are the most important things, right? So it's just like, find those things, whatever they are, be it your family, whether it's getting closer to God, whether it's leaving an impact, whether it's doing videos like what I'm trying to do now, adding substance to you instead of coming on here and just being another part of the population of stupid. Find those things, find your niche, and be your best at it. And I want to keep having these conversations with y'all. Tell me what y'all want to talk about. Like I was thinking about talking about guilt. What makes you guilty? There's some things that I feel like <laughs> make me guilty, but I want to have 
great conversations with y'all. Next time, wifey will join me on the couch. We'll have a conversation for y'all. Y'all stay safe and be blessed and get off social media. If it's ruining your relationship, stop doing it. Just like anything else. If I was doing drugs or something and my wife was like, I'm finna divorce you because you got a weed problem. You think I'm gonna keep smoking weed? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the weed. If she said, you're liking too many girls' pictures, you're looking at too many booties, I'm deleting TikTok. Do the same thing for your relationship. It solidifies the importance of what's important. Social media ain't more important than your relationship. Until next time, y'all stay safe, all right? If you're in a relationship and your partner is liking photos of the opposite gender on social media, it is not okay. A lot of people might argue and say, it's just social media. Why are you so insecure? They're just liking a photo. Well, guess what? It's not just liking a photo. Because if a guy was liking a girl's photo in a bikini, what are you really liking about that? Listen, there's always an intention behind an action. Because if that person was single, they're not liking the photo because of the palm tree. They're liking it because of how she looks. Now we have human brains and it's psychology. You're attracted to that. You're double tapping by sending a message saying you like this. So in a way, if your partner seeing you like other people's photos, it's disrespectful. And I don't care what anybody says, argue with me all you want in the comments. You should not be liking those photos unless it's family. We are a part of the Good Vibe Nation.